Howdy. There is some action going on south of Iceland, 5.1, 10 kilometers in depth, which might still change. There is other reports, 19 or 15 kilometers as well. And almost simultaneously, or simultaneously, they don't know <laughs> which country it belongs, doesn't matter. One Earth, 4.7, 10 kilometers in depth as well. So I think there is nothing over at Iceland, as isn't of the Azores. <laughs> There's actually, yeah, that's a smaller one. 2.4, 16 hours ago. And also Canary Islands. Let's have a quick look at this. I wanted to talk about something completely different. <laughs> no, it's not completely different. There is still, well, there is, as expected, activity within the Canary Islands. I wanted to talk with you about Mount Valamara. 4.2, okay. The Mount Valamara is very easily to find. We have those two lakes and Mount Valamara is just beside it. Mount Valamara. It is a very interesting mountain. It is rather big. It has in its close proximity wide rivers. And they are also rather prominent. Do we have some on the other side as well? Mm, yes, smaller ones. But also white sediments. And there was something near here, but this is this is belonging to the same. I just call it now Mount Valamara. Yes, I have been searching now for an old screenshot or elderly screenshot. I didn't find it, and I have no idea where I stuck. But Mount Valamara, nonetheless, this is windy now. And here we have Italy and Greece. So now let's zoom in. Obviously, there is. Well, obviously, there is something going on. If we now just could zoom in. But that's not exactly at Mount Valamara because Mount Valamara would be situated here. But that, that's not too far away and there is some SO2 emissions. As you can see here, SO2. And the screenshot I was searching was approximately similar looking to this, except it was over Mount Valamara, which is here approximately. So, server error. I think I'm already in the region. Valamara. Yes. The quality isn't the best now of those pictures here, but you can see. The quality is actually quite well, but the coloration is a little bit strange. We have caldera structures, caldera-like structures. We have this kind of bulging here going on. And then we have another caldera-like structure just beside it.
Maybe it's not bunching, it's just like flow down. Maybe this smaller one here, at least it looks like cut off. Maybe this was much bigger. That's just a small part of Valamara. Let's click on that. They won't click on, won't let me click on that. <laughs> Nature Preserve. Let's have a look at the pictures. If somebody would ask me how do these mountain looks, how these mountain looks look like, this was very difficult. If someone would ask me well, how I think those mountains look like, I would say they look like volcanoes here's just missing the rest of it there's water we have crater lakes so2 emissions people more people Might be a cryptodome after all, which erupts mainly by water, through water, with water. Yeah, it must be fun riding there. And also the rock color seems to be rhyolithic, and there seems to be some, some iron, that's why they are maybe this colored this might be a well which is broken but the pattern is in a way similar polar configuration and such so but we are not on mount valamara it actually doesn't matter too much now let's try again once Valamara. Server error. Okay. So now I have to go by my very own to Wikipedia. <laughs> the Valamara, a Romanian, is a mountain of the central mountain range in southeastern Albania. Geography. The mountain is roughly part of a series of mountains extending from northeast to southwest between the valleys of Shkumbin in the north and Devol in the south. It is one of the highest peaks in the European continent. In terms of topographic prominence, there is a rich evidence of previous glaciation in the highest parts of the mountains as glaciers covered the mountains and created its cirque-shaped lakes and depressions. There are at least eight glacial lakes across the mountain range. The eastern edge of the mountain gives rise to several rivers, amongst them the third longest river of the country, the Skumbin. The western and southern edges of the mountain are drained by Devol, which has formed a deep gorge between the mountains. Near the main ridge of Valamara, there are very few trees, while Valamara's lower slopes are forested. To the south, there are many glacial lakes, which are tourist attractions. Brown bears have been observed in the mountain region. Since I had the epiphany about the glacier thing, thinking that glaciers are contemporary lava streams made out of water, which means the mountain carrying the glacier is a volcano, which erupts mainly by water, or through, through water, and all the debris it brings with it when it comes down. And there might be even debris or sediments or clay 
come out of the volcano, the cryptodome. And here's the same picture I showed many times. White rivers. Mount St. Helens in the USA, everybody knows that's a glacier, that's a volcano, which carries a glacier, one of the world's fastest growing glacier in the world. It's growing inside the caldera of Mount St. Helens. So I think it's not too crazy to think that every glacier carrying mountain is a volcano. White rivers. It's Mount St. Helens. Nalchik, Russia. Momor, France. That's not ice, if you think it's, it's not. Udine, northern Italy. Parma, on the other side of northern Italy. Valgao, Germany. Mount Valamara, which is just one of those many peaks. And we have the White Rivers. There is also, I will search for this picture. I thought I would find it just like that because it, I stumbled across it. And then I thought, yeah, I forgot about this. But now I don't find it. A screenshot from Windy. And that's once again, let's put on terrain. There's not one single extinct or probably extinct or active volcano or whatsoever drawn on this map here in northern Macedonia, Greek, Greece, nothing. But we have SO2 emissions. And tell it again, Mount Valamara is somewhere here. So now let's put play, they can predict the future. But I just want to show you that's not something which got blown there from somewhere. This is coming from the place itself. That's not just some random SO2 cloud from Etna or whatsoever. This is continu continuing. A no volcano. There was once some article with the, or about Mount Valamara, and there was mentioned the word Mars, which would be like actual volcanic. So I just try to tell you that I think we underestimated the amount of volcanoes in many, many, many places. And since the sun activity is just ramping up, this means one thing. Earth's activity is ramping up too. How it could be not so. Yes, but anyway, I leave it here. Drought, mountain water. Probably the water is retreating before it's coming with power. This could be one possibility. Which has to be taken into account because it could be possible. Earth is, a, Earth is a capacitor and now it gets somehow amped up and it will discharge in a way electrically. And the water within the crust will react accordingly. And it could be very quick. There could be so much water coming out of the mountains, no one ever, ever could imagine.
But that's just what I think. There's no volcanoes marked here. Not one single one. Maybe there is somewhere something in the Smithsonian or wherever. But here isn't any. But we have SO2. I'm just sharing my observations and some thoughts, but hopefully you make up your own mind. Try to take everything into account, otherwise you will never find the truth. It's just not possible. Yes, thanks. Bye.